I had a class of fourth graders. Um, they are one of my higher classes. They always bring a lot of energy and, and I think they're very um, quick to learn um, naturally. We were talking about, in playing recorder, we were talking about technique um, as one of our standards. It is playing instruments with good technique and then you know what all goes into technique. What is technique? What does that look like? And then we were also talking about, in terms of literacy, pitches, lines and spaces on the staff, and then rhythms. Um, and, and then that goes back to a different standard and how all that actually goes into playing, in this case, the recorder or any instrument well. And then we were also focusing on the element of tempo later in the lesson. And we wanted to be able to define tempo. And that's, of course, a different standard because we want to be able to um, define and identify standards as they occur in music. So the learning targets for today's lesson were to play the recorder with correct technique and also to play with correct pitches and rhythms. And then we were also later in the lesson identifying and defining tempo. I am a big fan of Google, and um, as you might be able to see in the background, I have limited wall space, but I really like using Google Slides as a way of displaying and expressing learning targets, and then I you know, read through them with the kids. So I find that Google Slides is a great way, for me at least, to express learning targets. As I went through the learning targets on the Google Slides, I would put a question underneath, what does that mean? What does that look like? Um, so they're kind of paraphrasing the learning target, but I think they're also really kind of looking at the success criteria and they're kind of defining that as well. My journey with this has been looking at what I'm doing now and how do I get to what we want with learning targets and success criteria. Um, students always come in the door asking, what are we gonna do today? And so up to this point, I've always been displaying our activities, what we're actually doing. And all I kind of had to do was add what we're learning within those activities. And those are my learning targets and my success criteria. So. I'm taking my slide of activities and then I'm adding a slide that displays my learning targets and success criteria and I found that to really not be too difficult because um, my activities were already related to my standards and I knew that but I had just never really displayed the actual goals of learning. I focused it more on what we were doing um, so I found it to be an easy transition. I think that constantly assessing the behaviors of the goals and the success criteria is very helpful. Um, just correcting, correcting them as they go works really well than only doing it at the beginning and the end. So I'm constantly just watching all of them to see where they're at, then just giving them, oh, both feet on the floor, reminders, and for most of them, they're able to take charge from, I don't have to tell any particular student, usually, usually I don't have to tell any particular student to what they need to do. Usually just reminders to the class allows them to take charge of their own learning and improvement that way. <laughs>